go ahead and take an actual look at a print we did with the half tones from our Simple Seps plugin. You would see that we're holding a lot of detail. In fact, I'd go ahead and say that this is a high end design. You can see the detail in this print. Incredible fashion design. Here we have our black film printing out. Everything auto separated in Simple Seps, half tones generated automatically, then printed right out to your black film on an inkjet. Here we are washing the screen out, able to hold all those dots on a 230 mesh screen. Here we are setting up the t-shirt and going ahead and printing. You'll see that we're holding all of our dots. Very high quality, high detail, half tone printing without a $500 or $1,000 rip. And right now, Simple Seps comes with the Mega Pack 1 from t-shirtclipart.com. That's over 500 hand-drawn monochrome design elements. You can go ahead and start creating and separating with half tones, high-end designs that have the type of look you see on the retail stores and on the shelves today that the kids go crazy over in the high schools. Very easily and very simply with the art and the Simple Steps plugin. Blow your clients away before your competition does with the Simple Steps plugin and the monochrome art. As you saw in the video there, beautiful high-end fashion design working with monochrome art, auto separating from Simple Steps and able to set up everything and even print our half tones. Well, half, half tones and this high-end printing is really just a portion, actually a small portion of all things we can do with the Simple Steps plugin. We were getting a lot of requests about separating raster images, doing high-end half tones and things like that with Simple Steps and can you use the half tones? And this will answer a lot of the questions. We'll also pick up some good tips and tricks for graphic design in this particular tutorial. Now, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and recreate this actual design. We won't get the exact same thing, but we'll use Simple Steps and the Fashion Factory. We'll add some effects to this and we'll use our monochrome art. Here's the actual file set up as we set it up in Corel Draw, and you can see we've got a number of different colors here. It's actually a five color design. We've got a white base, a second white, black, red, and yellow. Offset's a very nice design, as you can see in the video of the actual print. Come to page two, and here we have it actually set up as half tones. Doesn't render very nice um, in Draw. As I often said, Draw does not render these monochromes very nice, but we can zoom in here and take a look. We'll see all of our half tones and how they're going to work. And we can use this half tone conversion from Simple Steps to really verify what's going to go on, other, on with our prints on screen before we actually go ahead and print the designs. And then as we go through here, we can actually tab through and see our different color separations generated by Simple Steps on each page here. Now, if you want to see what this is going to look like from your half tones after you do your conversion, you can actually do that pretty effectively if you take this particular object, which we've piled this all up with monochrome bitmaps with the corresponding colors for the color separations. If we go ahead and lasso everything, go to bitmaps and convert to bitmap. I'll select CMYK at 300 DPI and I'll turn on anti-aliasing just to soften up the edge of those dots just a little bit and we'll select OK. And we'll let that process and then we'll get a real good idea of what our halftone print is going to look like coming off of this high-end fashion style design. And as you can see once Corel has finished processing that we'll zoom in and we'll take a look here but Corel renders these dots much better as CMYK than it does as your monochromes. The monochromes look really rough, but you can see in the video, in the beginning of the tutorial, that we're able to print those half tones out and get a really nice print from the t-shirt. What you're seeing on the monitor as rough monochromes in draws, just the way that the software renders the dots in the monochrome bit bats. But now you can see now that we've converted to our um, CMYK here, we get a much better look at what's going on with our dots and our half tones and what our print's going to look like on our actual t-shirt. And as you can see, even though this is a very high, highly detailed, high-end piece of artwork, we can see in the video that we were able to set up and print this level very easily with the half tones from Simple Steps on a manual press in a typical garage shop. So really what we're doing with Simple Steps is we're opening up the ability for all the shops to go ahead and start printing high-end half tone designs. And really that's why we've got incorporated with the Simple Steps the Monochrome Mega Pack 1 from tshirtclipart.com. Incredible value with over 500, it's actually Max, max Pack 1, with over 500 hand-drawn monochrome um, design elements and art images you can work with to create these types of designs very easily in Corel Draw. Go ahead and set them up, add your vector files, put some effects in with Fashion Factory if you're working with that, then automatically create your separations and half tones with Simple Steps. If you need to get half tones from Draw, you can do that. If you've already got a rip, then you can set everything up and then go ahead and output your half tones to your rip. Now, the half tone functionality in Simple Steps is really a small part of all the different things we can do with Simple Steps. It's really about half tone and color management automating things and getting rid of errors when it comes to color separations. But in this tutorial, what we want to do is just go take a look and see how easy to create a high-end design like this and separate it directly in Corel Drawn. You know, you walk into the high schools, the youth organizations, your sports clubs, and your other clients with designs like this. 
you're going to have much better success competing against your competition if they're walking in with the standard vector stuff that's been around for years. And you get into these effects and hand-drawn look. This is the same stuff they're getting on the retail shelves in the high-end stores and even in Walmart now. And you walk in with the ability to customize this for them, put their logos into these designs, set up their sport teams and stuff. You're going to do a lot better with your marketing, gaining entry into specific clients that you want to get access to and start selling some custom work to or even working with your t-shirt lines you'll be able to work a lot quicker and a lot easier dealing with all this in simple steps and with the monochrome art. Take a look here, here's our actual separations generated by simple steps and I'm going to go ahead and we'll just go right through here. What I want to do is we'll go ahead and we'll start a new document and I'm going to change the size of this. We're going to be going over print. We'll be printing 22 by 24 as you can see here, and I want to get my design elements in. I've actually set up my scrapbook in Corel so I can get to my monochrome mega packs. Now, once you get into Simple Steps, you'll get the uh, monochrome pack too. I'm going to be working from monochrome pack volume two in this particular session. And I'm actually going to go in here to Skulls volume two and go right into our CDR files and we'll get a thumbnail preview. And I know that the skull I'm going to be working with here is Skull Never 15. Very easy, just left click, drag that right into my workspace, and you'll see that this is. A very high resolution hand drawn piece of artwork. Excellent detail. Be able to use just a few elements from the monochrome to create a really cool design very fast. Now, what I want to do at this point is I want to go ahead and um, go back. So I'm going to go right back here through my scrapbook to volume two, CDR files. Actually, I went back into skulls. I don't want to do that. I want to go to monochrome two and I want to go to ornaments and elements. And I'll go to my CDR files. And these do come with your Photoshop files. So if you want to do some editing and changing of them in Adobe Photoshop, piece of cake, just open them up, all set up in layers, and you can start working with them. And I want to grab this ornament 08 here, and we'll drag this into our workspace. So I've got my ornament and my skull, and that's all I'm going to use to create these designs, just these two simple hand-drawn elements. But I'm going to get a really nice design. And of course, there's actually um, hundreds of files here. So we'll take a look at the all monochrome again. We'll go to monochrome packs and we've got animals, banners, crosses, helmets, lays, uh, floor de leases, we've got ornaments and elements, shields, skulls, sports elements, weapons, wings, etc. All the stuff that comes with the monochrome pack one is here but and also you can get to that directly through your folders if you want to in Windows you can actually go in and take a look at things there. I'll go back here we'll go into volume two and if I wanted to come this way I could come into skulls volume one go to my CDR files and I'd get my previews here and I could just drag and drop right into Corel. Now these are not vector files. These are hand-drawn high-end pieces of art. We'll zoom in here and take a look and you can see that. Now there's all that detail there but you saw in our print we were able to hold that with the halftones coming out of Simple Steps. We got a really nice design. And of course if you're working with direct to garment and you're not going to be dealing with color separations obviously you'll be able to hold this detail as well. Corel's processing is save right now and we've got a lot of big files in Corel at the moment so we'll go ahead and pause and let that finish processing and save. So at this point, I'll go ahead and zoom out. What I want to do is start organizing my graphic here. I've got this one skull here, and you can see this is actually skull 15. If I ungroup this, you can see we've got three objects on layer one. And what this file is composed of is a number of monochrome bitmaps. There's actually in the monochrome mega pack two, we've got highlights in our layers. And I click off here, and you can see that this highlight, you won't see this, but that's actually a white. If I change that to a red, now we're dealing with a bitmap. It's not vector, and that's why we can get this high-end look with a really nice auto separation coming out of Simple Steps and Corel. And then here we've got a black monochrome bitmap and that is our hand drawing. And then we've got a gray fill down here. And I'm going to go ahead and change this to a Pantone Trans White. I'll go ahead and change this to a Pantone Trans Black and I'll use my highlight. We'll keep that as a Pantone Trans White too. And then I'll go ahead, actually what I want to do is hit Control Z here and go back and line everything back 